across the Dakotas, perch sloughs have been producing outstanding winter angling in recent years. These new lakes produce enormous perch, in part because the first fish in the lake have unlimited food. What we often see on these fisheries is a natural evolution where the first fish in the lake grow enormous but are extremely difficult to catch. As more fish come into the system, the forage base gets cropped off enough to where the fish become easier to catch. The amount of forage in the form of invertebrates available for perch in these lakes is a double-edged sword. Perch grow extremely big and fast, but they can be extremely difficult to catch at times with aggressive presentations. The answer to catching tough perch on these new lakes is finessing soft plastics right in the mud. There's a heavy fish. We're running basins, basically soft bottoms, focusing on transitions, just drilling a lot of holes, looking for perch. Get them up here. And these fish are typically eating invertebrates. Oh, there's a dandy, there's a dandy perch there. That fish is big enough to break my line if I lift him out of the hole. Isn't that a dandy there? But we're using small profile horizontal jigs with soft plastics, like this impulse stone fly. And a lot of people don't have confidence fishing these soft plastics, but they're so effective. And we're going to teach you how to use these baits on today's show. Yeah, and basically, these soft plastics, there's a lot of different ways, a lot of different effective ways to fish these baits. But the thing about these soft plastics is that it doesn't take much create some movement in the sense that a lot of times when you're working these baits you might do a real high lift to bring those fish in but once you get them up below you a lot of times you're just quivering that bait just getting those tentacles to dance it doesn't take much oh look at that I'm just barely moving that rod tip but down below that creature bait is just dancing one thing I think really makes a huge difference is using this two pound bionic line the smaller diameter line you're really able to get that jig down real fast and with the tungsten on the end of it it really is you can use that aggressive presentation with it with the thicker line it doesn't wobble quite like it should another thing that helps a lot is that loop knot that you use when you're tying them tungsten jigs on if you're with that plastic down there you can really get the really hangs horizontal you get some of the other knots on there they don't hang quite right and the fish don't like the way they look Another nice perch on the stonefly. One of the most effective soft plastics I fished with this year. This one here is just a one inch glow white. Well, that's a good heavy fish. But you know, these fish, you know, they're eating these invertebrates out oh, there. Another dandy. They're eating these invertebrates over these soft basins. And why aren't we using spoons right now? Because these fish have been really fussy and they're not hitting spoons. And so spoons can be a great lure for finding fish and catching aggressive fish. But when these fish turn off and you can't get these fish to go on spoons, they're following up and they're just not aggressive. When these fish get negative, go down to the horizontal jig with that soft plastic and there's the result right there. These impulse stone flies are getting worked close to the bottom often within six inches of the mud, and the motion we're trying to achieve is a swimming vibration that causes the tail and the legs to dance. Remember to move the lure like an invertebrate kicking through the water column versus swimming the lure like a minnow. These big perch are conditioned to picking up bug larva and freshwater shrimp out of the mud. That was like a good one. Yeah, it feels real good. Oh yeah, another dandy. Oh, there's a dandy. Well, 
One thing you gotta be real careful of when you're fishing these soft plastics is if you send it back on the hole like this, they will not bite. You have to have this hook about perfectly horizontal. Get your best action that way. See if we can't get another one here. There's a, there's a perch there. That fish just barely touched it. There's a nice jumbo. The other thing about these soft plastic tails is that a lot of times you can rip them up, try to pull fish in, but a lot of times when you're trying to just seal the deal, you got fish coming up off the bottom, they're looking at it, just barely takes anything on that rod tip. A lot of times you just you know, let the wind almost vibrate that tip of that rod and just get those tentacles to dance, but you don't really have to do much with them to keep those baits moving to trigger those fish, but respectable perch will throw this one back. Feels like another good one. Rod bender? Oh yeah, feels good. Oh, another dandy. Look at that one. Been struggling a little bit here to find some aggressive fish, but this one here's came up and just smoked it. I mean, that's what we're out here looking for. You got one there? Got a deep one there? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Oh. Come on, Andy. Well, I tell you what, this has been such an effective technique. It really boils down to confidence, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, these Northland Impulse, if you don't have confidence in any plastics, it's not going to work. And these Impulse have just been unbelievable for me this year. I have caught a ton of fish on them when other, you know, other baits, live bait wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, it's effective, but you have to learn how to use it. But once you learn how to use it, it's definitely a tool you don't want to lose. That's exactly right. We'll let that one go. All right. Well, thanks for being on today's show. You bet. Thank you. To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, make their official web page one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and air times, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.